And what's going on, everybody? It's your boy John from the Gamer Duo here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Ultra Moon Gen Lock. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a fantastic day. I'm recording this right before I have to go to work. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead, jump into this, get a team recap. We had to train the team up to level 46 because Guzma is going to be level 47, and we will be probably getting close to, if not, taking him on in today's episode so again because of that we are gonna team recap we have a new team member because last episode we did lose somebody which is unfortunate but we got daddy the machamp with the sap saber ability cotton guard liquidation brick break and sacred sword we got unq with giga drain shadow ball cotton guard and discharge we got Nick with the long reach ability, the Gothitelle with Photom Guys and Moon Guys Beam, Earth Power, and Amnesia, holding the spell tag to power up that Moon Guys Beam. We got Drake, the Lottie Os with the Sparkling Aria, Psychic, Yawn, and Psy Strike. We got Fitta, because it's going to fit a sweep with Photom Geyser, Discharge, Waterfall, and Moon Blast. And last but not least, we got Tube. The Mega Tyranitar with Ice Punch, Sacred Sword, Night Days, and Cross Poison with the Adamant Nature. So, it's out here with that almost 200 attack stat. Kind of insane, kind of wild. Let's go ahead and check our bag. But yeah, hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Let me know in the comment section below what's going on. And yeah, so first off, we're going to check and make sure the XP share is on, which it is, gladly. Um, let's go ahead and check for Hyper Potions. We got 18 of them. What about balls? Because we got a couple encounters today. We got some dive balls, nest ball, just balls in general. That's good, 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 good. Good to see. Dusk ball. I will buy some quick balls. Because quick balls are splendiferous. Um, we love the fact that, you know, with a quick ball, makes it so that, you know, hopefully if we get some of the more, the easier Pokemon... It's less to worry about if we can buy them. Hold on, what? We, I don't think, are able to buy them here. Okay, well, that sucks. Guess we gotta buy Ultra Balls instead. We have, oh, we have 20 of them. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. If we have 20 Ultra Balls, there's no reason to spend my money on other things because Ultra Balls are phenomenal. We are gonna go ahead and get our encounter on this route. Um, hopefully, it is good. Hopefully, it's something that we kind of enjoy and want we're actually recording in the daytime for once in our life so that's always a fantastic sight to see it is a mud brain if you guys don't know mud brain is actually a really good pokemon um so i suggest if you like good pokemon you use mud brain on your team but yeah hopefully like i said hopefully your days are going really well i have work today which is a little bit like ugh. i'm like getting i'm feeling drained but I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. It's just, it's weird. It's the feeling of drain and, like, I don't know. I just wish this was my job. <laughs> like, I'm just plain and simple. If this was my job, I don't think I'd feel as drained because I just love doing this. And, like, having a job that you love is always a good thing. Hopefully, you can, you don't hear the two fans I got going in my room because it's freaking 90 degrees. Whee! Yeah, now, I know that complaining about 90 degree weather for 90% of the country is like, and like the world is like, what? Why are you complaining about 90 degree weather? And it's like, well, because I live in the Pacific Northwest where 90 degrees is rare, it feels like it's 100 and something. So I'm going to name it uh, Fogarty. Because. You know, that's a good name. Okay, <laughs> we're going to set it to the box. Um, and we're going to continue moving forward with a, a new encounter. But, yeah, like I said, today there is a high likelihood that we get to fight our main man, Guzma. And I'm definitely worried for Guzma because Guzma was before Plumeria. Guzma and Plumeria were the last two people to take out Mons. So having to go against a level 47 version of that is always scary. Especially because Nanu is going to be level 51. Like, the levels have went from like stagger, 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 stagger. And now we're um, at that part of the quadratic equation where it just goes up out of absolutely nowhere. Um, 
end, so understandably so, I'm freaking out a little bit because, you know, level 47 is kind of getting up there, and especially with the next important trainer battle being level 51 and so on and so forth. Like, it's definitely ramped. Um, so, definitely a very scary situation. We do have Daddy leading, so this thing is no problem at all. But, yeah, like, he, she needs to be, like, level 42. 40, yeah. So, like, the fact that, like, you're... I'm starting to see this massive disparity between these regular trainers and the important trainers. And when you see a disparity like that, you're like, ah, uh, she's not that far away from the level 47. And it's, it's hard. It's very weird when you see it. And... Not something I'm used to seeing, but oh my god, you had two Pokemon that were quad freaking weak to fighting. Well, I'll take it. Um, but yeah, I hate seeing the massive disparity because it makes me feel like I'm over leveled when I'm not really over leveled. It's just I'm preparing for another battle further, just a tad further ahead. Like, literally, she's a not even a required trainer battle. There's one, two required battles before fighting Guzma. And she's only level 40. And it's like, uh, okay then. But our encounter in this grass hopefully is going to be good. It is a Lampant, which is totally fine with me. Gen 5, Ghost Fire type. The other one we caught was a Gen 7. So we appreciate Gen 7 a lot because we don't have very much of that. I don't even think we have. Yeah, we do have one on the team. But we only have like three total. So it does make it hard. And since it is nighttime and this is a ghost type, let's go ahead and catch you in a dust ball. I think that would fit you very perfectly. Um, come on, dust ball. Really? It's nighttime and you're a lampet. You're not gonna be nice to me like that? Come on, game. But yeah, we get this route 16, this encounter route 17. And so there's a lot that we get the opportunity to do, which is amazing. Shadow ball is a little bit of a yikers, especially when you lower my special event attempt number one, because of course you do. It's not like, you know, it's a high probability of that. It's not like it's 10%, but you know, it's okay, whatever, whatever's clever, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to hit you. I don't want to, but I'm gonna have to because you do a ton of damage. And honestly, ghost type is not necessarily the type I want to be seeing, apparently. Um, but at least we got tube, Tyranitar tube, if you guys don't know. Um, and yeah, like, hopefully 170 some odd attacks that doesn't kill, but it might. Yeah, it does more than half, dang. But this should do, like, nothing because it's resisted. Yeah, look at that. Damagio. Um, and with that Damagio, I should be able to catch you now in a dust ball. And if I can't, then I'm going to be a little worried. But I shouldn't I shouldn't have to be worried. It should be crystal clear. Um, yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yep. Nice. Okay. So, Generation 5. We have a few of those. And you evolve with a Dusk Stone, which we'll be getting here sh rather shortly. So, yes, we are going to give you a nickname. It is going to be... Yagami. I spelled it wrong, but name it after Light Yagami. Um... And let's see what your summary is. You have Sniper with Shadow Ball, Mimic, Confuse, Rain, Attack Order. Sniper would have made crit. Ooh. That would have made a crit actually probably kill Daddy instantaneously. Ooh. This game is plotting to kill Daddy, and I already know it. It's it's it's, it's Daddy in its true form. Um, okay, let's see. Route 17. Should be able to walk around that. Yay, we got 10 totem stickers. Look at that. So much matters. Okay, our encounter, let's go ahead and heal up before we get it, is going to be hopefully decent. 
I, I really don't know how good it could be or what it could be. But yeah, we're definitely going to be able to fight Guzma in this episode, which is primo. Mawile. Generation 3. We got a lot of Generation 3. And Mawile really, realistically, is not on my plans and on my agenda. I'm going to go ahead and run away. As I usually don't do that, but I want to get to Guzma today. And... If running away helps me get to Guzma before I have to go to work, then running away is what I shall do. Um, again, very scary predicaments left and right, but again, nothing you can all, also nothing you can do. Okay, this is I guess required. So there's three required or four required battles. But ball, butterfree, butterfree actually creates an issue because. Well, I created more of an issue. <laughs> um, I definitely see you using a flying type move on me rather than anything else, but it's super effective against one, two, three, four, five. Five of my members are weak to Butterfree. Can I go into Fitta? Because Tyranitar Tube does not have a rock type move, does he? No. Oh, I guess it's a she. Does she? And she does not. Like I said, then it's got to fit a sweep. So let's put that to the test, I guess. Okay, I called the flying type move. Good, good call, good call. And I'm going to go ahead and. I'm going to go ahead and discharge a super effective. Because Fitta is defensive enough that I don't really care too much. Ugh, I just feel like ass today. I've actually been... I just want to fall asleep. That's really all it is. Just, it's uh, allergy fatigue sucks. Um, Lunatone, 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 Lunatone. We got Shadow Ball. We're good. We're good. We're good. We got it. We got it. We got it handled. We can handle this just fine. Lunatone actually benefits from the Psychic Surge. So hopefully you have Grassy Surge. That would be fantastic. So I can benefit instead. Ah, nope. I mean, that's smart though. Like, and Lunatone does not die. I should have Shadow Ball. Psy Wave. That doesn't actually get benefited by the Psychic Terrain. That's funny. That's funny that it chose to use the one move that doesn't actually get benefited from the terrain. Like, there are so many options, and it just decided that that one was what it wanted. I should be able to walk. Yep, I can. Nice. Ha ha ha. I called that one. Ooh, okay. Um, Jesus, it's so hot in here. It's my computer, probably. I'm, like, complaining about stuff that... Again, I to I tweeted this out today. Don't complain about stuff unless you're doing the actions to fix it. Yeah, but then again, in this case, the action to fix it would be not recording. And uh, I kind of need to do that. So, <laughs> I did the actions that I could do. To fix it and it just didn't fix it the way that it was intended to we've got hopefully some easy mons to fight spirit tomb and gudra thanks for doing the opposite of easy to fight i appreciate it daddy and unq you two mons that have no way <laughs> crap um gotta go ahead and sacred sword this gudra but UnQU does need to switch out. Um, and I believe that it will be best to go into Fitta. Because Fitta does not have Dazzling Gleam anymore. But it has Moonblast. Um, and we can target down that Gudra. And then it'll be fine. But in the rain, the Gudra is very scary. Normally. Aha! Oh, wait. Corn Forcer attacks both. Dang it! <laughs> I thought I just pro played the AI. And then it's like, oh, wait. No, I did not. It did not do what it was supposed to. But Sacred Sword should do, like, tw oh, it does half. Okay, good, good, good. Wonder Room prevents the use of items, which is totally fine. 
Um, because that quad effective. So first off, Sacred Sword will go ahead and kill that Gudral. And Moonblast will go ahead and kill Spiritomb. I don't know who's faster. De oh, shh. No, 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 no. Why do you have Destiny Bond? Daddy! Daddy? Oh, my God. Daddy's about to die. I can't. No, I can't. 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 Daddy, I want you. I need you, Daddy. I can't have you dying on me, Daddy. Ugh. I can't believe I just lost Daddy. Daddy! Ugh. I can't, he just died. What the fuck am I doing? Destiny Bond! Like, what the fuck? Dude, daddy just, ah! That's not okay. I mean, I guess we have two Megas on the squad, but again, that's not okay. Daddy, uh, you're not supposed to die on me, daddy. That wasn't the case. That was not supposed to happen. Destiny Bond on a Gudra just had to happen. Well. <sighs> Why? Like, again, it's something you can't prep for. You're not going to be able to prep for a Destiny Bond on a Gudra. But... Ah, that sucks. That, it truly does. There's no, again, there's nothing I could do. But Daddy just died. To a Destiny Binding Gudra. You there, boy. I can be your new daddy. It's okay. It seems like you're trying to get into Poe Town. You sure you're? Are, are you sure you shot this through? As a daddy, I'm supposed to protect you, but you have to be ready if you're thinking about coming in here. Ready to live as a team school member, or ready to take on team school? You really think you're ready for that, son? I am. I guess everyone has their own reasons. I've got my reasons too for doing what I do. Hence why I want to let you in and be your daddy. It doesn't make it. Or, and if you don't make it, I'll be sure your remains at least go back home with me so I keep them safe because I'm your daddy now. <laughs> that was... You know what? That was worth it. As much as a lot of people would say, what the fuck? That was worth it. Daddy is not allowed to die. It'll His corpse will be in the PC... Unfortunately, because as much as he's my daddy, I can't lug him around because I'm not into that shit. But, <laughs> um, yeah, that really sucks because when I get to train up another Mon, which I already have a feeling I know which one it is, uh, but we got to make that decision here after I fight these two grunts. But... Like, this ep I, like, literally can't record the rest of this episode. Like, that's how hard that hit me. Um, UnQU will handle this just fine. But luckily, we have a lot of, again, a lot of Gen 1 options, a lot of abilities, and a lot of stuff that we can do. It's just unfortunate that we have to think about that. Because I, I thought Daddy was going to be just like Joey. And, like, have everybody fall around him, but him not die. But again, there's no prepping for Destiny Bond. So it's not like I'm mad, not like I made the wrong play by any means, which is like why I'm like, ah, oh, daddy just died. But like, I'm not like, ugh, John did the wrong thing. And I was the reason that everything went wrong. And ah, uh. I was like, oh, well, I could have scouted for Destiny Bond. But realistically, no, I couldn't have because I had, I could have, I would have killed Fida. Like, if somebody was dying there, 
in that essence, but, or in that case. But, again, nothing I could have done, nothing really to worry about. Um, I really hope I don't have to log Daddy's corpse. <laughs> For, uh, like, because I think I can have the, I think the PC is accessible. And if it's not, then, uh-oh, I gotta log Daddy's corpse for a while. Um, but I don't really want to, <laughs> per se. Um, I'd rather not, but... Because I would rather not have to watch him and see him for, like, three episodes before being able to go. Um, and put him in a PC, like... Especially since we have a massive important battle that I would love to use Daddy in. But. We will find out. Oh, yeah. There is no PC. Because I think it would have just... Yeah, that PC is broken. So I have to go back. Go back to pause the daddy and put... Make some red in the box. Because Mega Tyranitar will convert if I can't put him in the box. So. Unfortunately. Before I start the next episode, I'm going to have to walk all the way over there. <laughs> Although I can't really complain. It gives me the ability to kind of do what I need to do. But. So, we got a deposit daddy that makes death number eight of the series. We got to figure out who we want to replace with daddy, though. We got... Oh, wait. We got to put uh, Mega Tyranitar back in the box, too, because I'm saving. This is the last thing I'm doing for the episode. Um, we've got Mega Mewtwo. And Nido King. Brisk wouldn't even be bad, because that's building of a core. And it's got bees. Because psychic fighting is going to hurt me in the long run. Because that's going to give me another ghost weakness. Which would give me four. Obviously, we have other things we can choose from. We can choose from lane four, but there's really nothing in lane four. We can choose from... There is nobody in six. Okay. Oh, no, there is. There's Inkei. Inkei is in six, but he's part psychic as well. I am going to go ahead and bring out the nine tails. We haven't had we haven't used a fire type yet. Oh yes, we have. Uh poison fire. Um I'm going to go ahead and bring out our jolly oh, Why is it jolly and not timid? It's minor special attack nature unfortunately. But with its move set it does cover. Because, I mean. None of the other Gen 1s have. Yeah. Because the only other option is. Uh, so we got 2, 3, 5, 6. Two, three, five, six, and seven. So we have an option between one and four. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and add Frisk to the team instead. I think that's a good addition. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. I love you all. Peace.